Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Skipper Let's Play. We actually left off the last episode on a pretty sad note. The cat ran away, Hayden ran away. So we did um, file a missing pet report so that we can hopefully find him. But we do have a bit of a problem and it's that our latest cat, Chloe, obviously seems to have some kind of issue with Hayden or the other way round because the reason why Hayden ran away was because they had a massive scrap. And you know, we're not playing favourites here. But obviously Hayden was our baby before Chloe was. So I'm not really sure what to do. Hayden obviously had a reason to run away. I'm hoping by the end of this episode we'll get her back. I have a bit of a plan though. So, okay, it's like not really a sociable hour, it's 5am. So for now, I'm just going to get Skipper to do her homework. And I'm thinking what we might do, something that might encourage Hayden to come back to her home. I'm not going to like list Chloe for adoption because I don't just want her to go off with some strangers, you know. But it's clear that Chloe and Hayden can't really live in the same house together. So what I'm thinking is, if we invite over our loved and trusted, responsible sister Barbie, I'm sure Barbie would agree to find space in her house to take in Chloe and raise her as her own. I mean, look, she's already scratching at the bed. She's a little shit. So yeah, we'll give Chloe to Barbie if she wants her. And then that way, we'll still be an active part of Chloe's life. We just won't have the, uh, the fighting between Chloe and Hayden. Oh, start of term. Yeah, we'll probably have to do a few classes. Have we done our homework for the classes we do have? Not quite finished yet, but we'll get there. Has Emily done her homework? She could do extra credit work. Oh, actually, no, because her school bus is going to be here. Emily, get changed. Get ready for school. Oh, she already, she was already doing it. All right, Emily, well, you have a great day at school. Make some friends. See you when you get back. Okay, we have class in two hours, so not really enough time to invite Barbie over and ask her if she wants to take in Chloe. But maybe I'll do that when Skipper's finished with her uni day. Oh yeah, and in the last episode we, we ended on an A-plus GPA. Alright Skipper, have a great day at class. Be productive. See you when you get back. Hayden was returned! Make sure to welcome them back. Oh yes, yeah, sweet success! Well Skipper's gone back to class, but there she is! Go and give her a little welcome back. Oh, she's filthy and grubby. Aww. And just like that, that sad mood buff is all gone. Let's give Hayden some food, give her some treats, make her feel loved. It didn't take as long as I thought it would to get her brought back. <laughs> I thought it would take like a couple of days. Oh shit, Chloe's walked in, are we gonna have some beef now? Ladies, let's just respect each other's boundaries, okay? How can I wash this cat though? I need to like, give her a wash. Aw, little Hayden's profile is so cute. Well, she's given Hayden a bit of a brush. So hopefully Hayden will be encouraged to clean herself. All right, let's call Barbie and see if she wants to have a new little pet addition to her home. Oh, here she comes, glamorous as ever. Okay, we'll show off our pet, we'll show off Chloe. So maybe if we just go to join household, then instead of bringing anyone over, I can just send Chloe to Barbie's house. Yeah, they've got room in their house for Chloe. Perfect. Barbie's got a brand new pet. Oh, I think it's moving me to Barbie's house now. <laughs> yeah, hey Ken, looking great walking around topless in the middle of winter. Good for you. Let's go back to Skipper's house. There we go. Hayden's the main star of the show now. I kind of want to put more of a focus on Skipper's college because... You know, we tried this once before and she kind of had to drop out. So I do think it would be quite good for Skipper to at least see through till the end and get her degree before the end of the series, which I reckon we'll probably do the same as we did with the Barbie Let's Play. We'll probably do about 25 episodes. And I feel like so far we've been going at a snail's pace getting this degree. So I might just try and make that a bit more of a priority, you know? 
<laughs> Emily has learned the following traits about Barbie. Evil. You know what? I might just put a little desk in their living room now that they have the space. Oh, although they've got no money. I keep forgetting we don't have any money. Oh, but I have all this stuff I could sell. Pile of fur is worth nothing. Oh, come on. Can sell all this toddler stuff. Not going to have any need for this anytime soon. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm just going to buy a little desk to stick in the living room. The computer can live there. Because I think it'd be quite nice to have some people over for dinner tomorrow. Maybe when Skipper gets back from university. All right, Barbie, well, I mean, it's getting late. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm sure Ken's probably wondering where you are. Oh, he's probably not. He's probably used to it. But anyway, goodbye. Look at them both. So studious. Wait, what? What the fuck? Eating for two. Skipper is pregnant. Are you fucking serious right now? Shit. Her stomach just grew. Oh. Somewhere along the line, we had unprotected woohoo. At least she would be happy to have a child. Oh, god damn. This is... This isn't really the news I wanted. Don't get me wrong. It would be nice for Skipper to have another little addition to the family. It would be cute. But just as I was saying about how we finally don't have any reason to not see college through and not be a dropout, it's just as she <laughs> learns that she's pregnant. I don't know how Emily's going to take this. I mean, you saw the way she reacted just when we introduced her to our new boyfriend, let alone telling her she's going to have a sibling that she doesn't want. Okay, this is going to be fine. Let's just softly casual, okay? Start off... Just ask her about school. Just general chit-chat. No, Emily, come back here. Just general chit-chat about school. So she knows that she's loved. Maybe banter with old friends. Give her a little bit of attention. I don't think we've got the option to, like, reveal the pregnancy yet. Not with a child anyway, but... Okay, well, I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is we'll invite the boyfriend and his daughter over for dinner tomorrow, share our big news, and then, you know, everyone's in the know. God, I really wasn't expecting that. Don't play in the trash, you filthy cow. Throw it away. Let's just everyone go to bed. It's been a long day, and I think we could all do with a bit of rest. Let's just hope Daryl wanted children as well. I wonder if it says in his sim profile. <laughs> Already says, had a child together. Daryl is the one who fathered Skipper's latest child. No, it doesn't say whether he wants children or not. Okay, well, Skipper and Emily both have class in, like, one hour. Have a great day, ladies. One slightly inconvenient thing about having a pet is that time doesn't go fast enough. Like, the time doesn't speed up when they're out of the house. And yet, I can't control the pets anyway. So you may as well speed up time. Are you done with class now, Skipper? Two days, two days, two days, two days. Okay, great. So why don't you just catch up on your homework? I'm assuming she's in her first trimester. Yeah, because I don't have the option to visit the gynecologist just yet. On the bright side, selling some of that furniture, I could probably afford to make a loan payment now. I can't remember how much I borrowed. What the fuck? The table just disappeared now. Including her homework book. Well, there's one homework book. I don't understand why everything keeps going missing. This lot is just completely cursed. So I guess that's me buying a new dining table then. Okay, so Daryl is going to be home. And also Imogen's going to be home from school as well. So I might just... Oh, is he already here? Oh, he's already at my door. Oh, cute. Okay, we'll invite Imogen over as well then. We'll go give Daryl a little cuddle. I'm guessing he's going to notice the bump. Okay, Imogen's here. We'll go and let her in. Okay, so I'm thinking, Skipper, why don't you cook together with Emily? You guys can serve up some dinner. And then we'll have a nice family meal. And then maybe after we've eaten, we'll tell Daryl the good news. He may have already worked it out, but he might also think that we're just bloated. All right, let's get cooking. Oh, great, the fridge is broken. Oh, we're going to have to move in with Daryl soon. <laughs> this is too hard to manage, this house. Poor Skipper's pregnant, trying to get through uni, trying to raise a kid as a single parent, trying to keep the cat happy, and the house has just fallen to shit. 
such a hard life. Okay, let's um, call to meal and then everyone can grab a serving and we can all sit together. There we go, this is nice. Nice little family meal. I can't remember where Emily stands with Imogen. Are they still enemies? Oh yeah, it's still in the red. They're not even like making eye contact. Why don't you guys just talk? Just chit, just chit chat. Emily has learned that Imogen is outgoing. Could that relationship potentially be going a little bit green? Maybe? I think so. Maybe. Okay, well, while the girls are talking, I think Daryl's going to come over and give us a little kiss. Yeah. Or, like, just kissing our neck. That's a bit weird to do that in front of the kids, but okay, sure. So let's ask if Daryl wants children. Hopefully the answer is yes. And then share big news. I'd like having children. Oh, thank God. Okay. He would be happy to have another child. And he seems thrilled. Yeah, he's clapping. He's cheering. Great success. Well, you know what? I was originally thinking maybe this might be a bit too fast. But considering the current circumstances, perhaps it isn't too soon. I'm thinking the girls can entertain themselves for a minute. And maybe Skipper and Daryl can go for a little late night stroll maybe we'll go to the park there we go this is nice little stroll in the park you may notice they're wearing nice nicer clothing and also i've switched control to daryl almost as if something big is gonna happen but i think for now let's just do a little bit of socialization i'm not gonna become best friends because emily is skipper's best friend we don't want emily to feel like she's being replaced I wonder if he asks her if she has children. I wonder how she would respond. I wonder if she would say that she does. I don't have any children. <gasps> well, I suppose technically she doesn't, but still. Why don't we talk about the baby room decorations? Just have a little bit of alone time to talk without the girls. Oh, okay, this is what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the sun to fully go down. So that we have like a nice romantic bit of scenery right here. Skipper's making her way. She's taking her time. Give her a break. She's pregnant. Okay. I think it might just be the time. Pop the question. Oh. If she says no, this is going to be so awkward. Oh, good. She said yes. For a second there, I thought from her face she was going to say no. Well, you know what? On that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.